name is Rachel Goldberg and I'm the programs coordinator here at the Manassas Museum. We are still celebrating Women's History Month and today I'm going to talk with you a little bit about a very important um, and impressive woman from Manassas named Frances Bushong Saunders. So Frances's parents were Gladys and Joseph Bushong and they owned and operated a grocery store on Main Street um, that is in the was in the building where Ground Central is today. Uh, they ran the store for 35 years starting in 1915. So as you can imagine, their store was sort of, a, you know, a very important part of everyday life here in Manassas. And speaking of everyday life, Gladys Bushong wrote a, an article in the local paper. I think it was the Manassas Journal. Um, and the, the title of her column, her monthly column, was People, Places, and Things in which she described daily life in Manassas, both past and present. Um, so some people think that that might have been a little bit of a gossip column um, and a little bit of a also very well-researched um, historical article. So Frances Bushong, later Saunders, was a graduate of Osborne High School. She was the daughter of Gladys and Joseph, um, and she made history as the first woman elected in 1949 to the Manassas Town Council. She was one of four council members and she served for four years until 1953. Interestingly, um, there's some lore that says that Frances was not interested in being called a councilwoman. She said that she was, quote, working for the good of the entire community and wanted no distinctions from her male counterparts. Until her death in 1999, Frances was always advocating and volunteering for causes around the city. One um, group or cause that was very near and dear to her heart was a local group called the Gay 90s. And I have a picture here. Oh, no, that's not the Gay 90s. This is the Gay 90s of the Gay 90s. And it was a singing group they would get together and perform for servicemen and other local organizations. Um, Francis's son, Lowry Saunders, is buried next to Francis in City Cemetery. And Francis is actually married in the same plot as her parents. If you'd like to go visit her, I think it's 189A. Uh, it might be 189B, but it's somewhere around there. They're all buried there, and you can see her her footstone says Frances Bushong Saunders, uh, Manassas's first councilwoman. Um, so Lowry Saunders is buried beside his mother at um, City Cemetery, and Lowry was a huge help to the Manassas Museum. He left us um, a large number of items from his family's history, and he also left a nice bequest that was very helpful in the renovation of Liberia House. Um, some of the interesting things, just a few of the interesting things in the museum's collection from the Bushong and Saunders families include a Native American projectile that was found in their yard. Um, amazing. I think a lot of people probably find Native American projectiles um, in the ground. Um, there was also a tin cup that was owned by a member of the Bushong family who's, who had served in the 12th Virginia Cavalry. There's an iron and brass scale that had been used in the grocery store for many years and a number of letters and other artifacts. I pulled a few other interesting things out of the collection that I wanna share with you today. I'm just gonna put on my curator gloves so that Mary Helen doesn't yell at me to show you some of the things that we have in the collection. So I showed you the picture of uh, Frances Bouchon Saunders in the gay 90s. This is a picture of her sitting on the town council. You can see her right here. Um, and this picture includes the town manager um, and a couple of other people as well as the four council people. Um, and then we have this beautiful little autograph book that was Frances's from um, school when she was in school. You can see it was from 1927-28 and it's full of really great stuff, really wonderful um, uh, signatures from friends as if it were, they were signatures in a yearbook and they just um, it they 
just keep going. The book is full. And so there are some um, drawings, there are some poems, um, and then just some, you know, have a great summer, see you next year kind of um, sentiment. So it's a beautiful little thing, very personal. And then we have here on my left, we have the announcement of Francis's wedding to Cedric Saunders. And then here on my right is the marriage service booklet. And it's a beautiful white leather cover. And on the inside, I have to be very careful you can see that this certifies the marriage of William Cedric Saunders and Frances Catherine Bouchong on the 27th of June, 1935. And it's a, a just a lovely little book. And in the back, there are signatures um, of guests who attended the wedding. It has their vows and um, some of the other things that were read during the service. So these, again, are just a few of the very personal things uh, in the Bushong and Saunders holdings here at the Manassas Museum. And that's all I have for you today. So again, March is Women's History Month. We're celebrating those fantastic women. Uh, we hope that you're celebrating the fantastic women in your lives. And I'll see you again next time.